even technology can be biased. A study conducted by MIT's Media Lab revealed something shocking about facial recognition. The systems are better at identifying light-skinned males than darker-skinned females. MIT researcher Joy Bulamwini built a data set of 1,270 faces from different countries that included a large number of females in public office. The faces included three African nations with predominantly dark-skinned populations and three Nordic countries with mainly light-skinned people. To see how well the systems are at identifying the faces, three different facial recognition systems made by Microsoft, IBM, and Megvi of China were put into the trial. Each face was assigned with a rating for skin type based on the Fitzpatrick rating system, a six-point rating system which dermatologists use for classifying different shades of skin. The results showed the systems had an easy time with lighter-skinned men, only misidentifying gender in about 1% of all photos, and about a 7% inaccuracy rate for lighter-skinned women. The system struggled with darker-skinned men with 12% inaccuracy, while darker-skinned women just seemed more difficult for systems to read correctly with a 35% inaccuracy rate. Based on the results, the study suggests the systems require some urgent revamping in order to operate in genuinely fair, transparent, and accountable ways. There's no escaping in China. Chinese authorities have begun donning high-tech glasses to spot suspects, the latest use of facial recognition technology in the increasingly all-seeing state. Police in Zhengzhou can now verify people's identities within minutes using sunglasses with a camera attachment, which is connected to a database via a portable device. Officers who spot a suspicious person from as far as 5 meters away need only take a photo showing at least 70% of the face. The photo is run through the system, allowing officers to access information like names, ethnicity, gender, and address. It also details the hotel a person is staying at, recent internet history, and whether he is wanted for any crime. Seven suspects involved in a kidnapping and hit-and-run incidents have been arrested so far, with 26 others apprehended for using fake IDs. The use of facial scanners and other similar technology are widespread in China, where there are fewer privacy concerns. The government is in the process of amping up surveillance, starting with a database containing relevant information on its 1.3 billion citizens. In China, someone's always watching. Facial recognition is popping up everywhere in China as the government looks to technology to keep constant track of its people and what they're up to. Chinese apartments equipped with keyless entry use cameras to scan and verify residents' faces. But although convenient, the technology is also being used by authorities to monitor individuals and identify alleged bad guys and persons of interest. The project, called Sharp Eyes, intends to connect public security cameras with those in private compounds and buildings to form a nationwide surveillance and data sharing network. Sharp Eyes' aim is to compile information on citizens, including criminal and medical records, travel and purchase history, and social media use, and link it to a face and identity card. Its name derives from a communist slogan and is linked to Chairman Mao's attempts to get citizens to spy on each other. Supposedly, the system can track suspicious behavior to help eliminate crime, which in China can be anything from homicide to speaking out against the government. Ultimately, the goal is for total surveillance, and in a country where being an ethnic minority or an activist can get you flagged, that prospect is frightening. Facebook is coming for your face. Oh, no. Facebook announced on Tuesday it will soon be introducing new facial recognition features in order to give users more tools to manage their identity on the platform. People will soon be able to activate facial recognition with an on-off switch to enable three different features, according to a Facebook blog post. First, Facebook will alert you when pictures of you are uploaded, even if you have not been tagged in them. Second, you will be notified if your face is being used as a profile picture. Third, visually impaired users can now hear aloud the people tagged around them in group photos. And to get all these great features, you only need to give your face data to Facebook. Giving biometric data to a social media site? Sounds like a solid plan. Amazon submits patent for pay-by-selfie technology. The Seattle-based company has filed a patent application for technology that will soon allow customers to pay by taking a photo of themselves instead of keying in passwords. Amazon hopes to improve security for its users with the new technology. When a user logs into the Amazon app, 
After selecting their items for purchase, users will be asked to take a selfie, performing a requested action like blinking one eye. The app will then employ facial recognition software to confirm the user's identity in place of stored or re-entered passwords. The user's identity is then either rejected or confirmed. Only when confirmed can a purchase be completed. While Amazon concedes it's possible in some circumstances to trick the system with a two-dimensional image of a person, it expects the technology to improve security.